hello everyone in my last video i have explained how the bubble sort take place what is the method methodology what is the architecture to arrange the numbers in numerical order in sorted order so i have explained that uh, there will be what uh, if you are going to store uh, values inside uh, one of the array and you have to store the five elements so it's going to start from 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay and then if you have to sort then you have to sort it in numerical order so for that as you are going to sort the five elements for that you need the four iteration this is the first one this is the second one this is the third and the fourth then you are going to get the resulted values in sorted order as you can see earlier the values were in uh, random order okay 14 13 15 12 and 11 and after the iteration took place after the methodology of bubble sorting we find that the values are arranged in numerical order 11 12 13 14 15 so first we need uh, the four iterations okay to get the final results so we will apply the outer loop for the total number of iteration that is one two three and four okay and inside uh, the outer loop we will apply one more loop okay and in, and in the inner loop we'll apply such a condition that it will start from zero and it will go till what fourth then it will start from zero but it will go one less than the fourth question Position, it will go up to what three and again it's going to start from zero position to what two and then from start to what one so decrementation will take us from the downside okay that we have to see that type of uh, loop we have to apply inside uh, the outer loop so that we have to see okay so I'm going to make the program of bubble sort I will save it PRG bubble okay sort I have given the name to it first of all I will store the values inside the array okay having a size of 5 so I take one of the array variable having size what 5 I need the variables i j and k why I am taking these three variables i j and k that I will explain okay now I will give a message here what I am going to do is to input values in array okay so that I am going to do I am going to store the values inside the array for that I will apply the loop for i equals to 0 i less than equals to 4 and i plus plus the number of times we have understand how the loop will carry on and how the values are going to store inside the array okay so that I am not going to explain so we have understand these things in our previous videos so now in this way the value is going to store inside the array a okay the loop will carry on and the values are going to store inside each index position of the array now what i have to do i have to do the sorting for that again i will apply the loop for uh, i equals to zero i less than four okay and i plus plus as i have to carry on for four times the iteration will be for what how many times four times so it will start from zero zero one two three okay so that is what four now inside it i will write down what j equals to zero j less than four minus i why i'm doing so i will explain it okay and j plus plus inside it i will apply the logical part that is if a J. okay 
if aj position value is greater than aj plus 1 position value in that case the swapping should take place that is k equals to aj k and the value which is there inside uh, the aj plus 1 position that is going to store inside aj position k and the value which is there inside k that is going to store inside aj plus 1 position okay so this way the swapping will take place once everything is arranged in uh, numerical order sorted order i have to display it so i will again apply the rule i equals to 0 i less than equals to 4 i plus plus okay and inside it i will use out printf slash n or you can directly display the values that is a i okay but you need some space also so printf so i will give some space okay just to show you that i am displaying some space also after the display of the value okay let us use what return zero for the exit status okay everything is fine and i save the program by using control s we'll click on build it's showing me warning uh, printf something here a pointer from integer without a cast I haven't used what the parameter that is required okay so what I should do here I don't percent a comma then what a that was missing let us again click on build now there is zero error and zero warning I hope everything is fine and it should work let us see the can of also I'm going to click on run okay now I'm putting the values 44 33 66 11 and 77 I'm going to press enter if you see it arranged in sorted order 11 33 then 44 then 66 then 77 so it's working perfectly now let us understand how the things how the numbers are arranged in numerical order so here I have applied the loop the for loop to store the values inside the a array okay you all know how the loop will carry on how the values will store the values are in the random order okay in this way okay values are stored uh, to understand this is this part is important I'll we'll start from i equals to 0 0 less than 4 the condition is true it will come to the inner loop the value of j is what 0 now what is 4 minus i that is 4 minus 0 that will be what 4 so 0 less than 4 the condition is true so the value of j is what 0 and what 0 plus 1 so 1 so we are comparing the zeroth position value with the first position value let us see the zeroth position value is 14 and the first position value is what 13 okay so is 14 greater than 13 yes 14 is greater than 13 so interchange will take place if you see 13 has gone up and 14 come down okay so how interchange take place the value which is there inside the zeroth position that is stored inside the k the value which is there inside the first position that is going to store inside the zero position and the value which is there inside k that is going to store inside the first position interchange take take place now the value of j is going to increment uh, from 0 to 1 now it will come here 1 less than 4 the condition is true 
now we are going to compare the first location with the second as the value of j is 1 and here it will be 1 plus 1 2 okay so let us see what is there inside the first it is 14 and what is inside second it's 15 is 14 greater than 15 no the condition is false so the values remain as it is okay so i hope you understand how things are working it's not going to perform this operation as this condition is what falls now the value of j is going to increment from 1 to a 2 and uh, here is what it will be what 2 less than 4 the condition is true now this time what the second portion is going to compare with the third so what is there inside the second it's 15 it's compared with the third the condition is true so interchange will take place this operation will take place the swapping operation okay so after taking place the 12 is going to the second position and 15 is going to come to the third position and then the third is going to compare with the fourth okay so what you will see the 15 will come at the last position the condition is true so interchange take place and come to the last position now when the condition get false when the value of j will what what 4 okay 4 less than 4 the condition will get false it will go to the outer loop the value of i is going to increment to 1 1 less than 4 the condition true now 4 minus 1 that is what 3 so how many times the inner loop is going inner iteration is going to work that is 1 2 and what 3 okay and in same way it's going to work for two times okay the third iteration and then one time and then we'll get the final result so i hope you understand the logical part how the things are working once the data is now there inside the array in sorted order i again applied the loop display the values and we get the values in sorted order i hope you understand in the next video i explain something else bye